Welcome to the zany universe of a classic TV series that sprang to life in the late 70 seconds. Introducing audiences to the hilarious extraterrestrial, Mork, played by the iconic Robin Williams. Amidst the backdrop of Boulder, Colorado, Mork and Mindy spun an endearing tale of an alien's misadventures while attempting to understand human behavior under the watchful eye of his human roommate, Mindy. Delving beyond the on-screen laughs, the show harbors lesser-known trivia that fascinates. Did you know that William's casting as Mork was somewhat accidental? His unique audition, where he sat on his head, impressed the producers so much that they rewrote the character to accommodate his improvisational genius. Also, the series served as a launching pad for Robin Williams' meteoric rise to fame, showcasing his comedic prowess and shaping his illustrious career. What sets Mork and Mindy apart, enduring in the annals of TV history, is its timeless humor and the charismatic chemistry between Williams and co-star Pam Dauber. Their dynamic transcended the screen, captivating audiences with heartfelt moments and uproarious escapades. As we reminisce about this beloved series, what cherished memories or personal experiences do you hold dear? Share your stories and recollections in the comments below. Let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this remarkable show together. When casting for the show, Robin Williams flipped himself upside down in a chair, landing the role because he seemed like the perfect alien. Gary Marshall, the producer, saw something unique in his quirky audition. Williams brought Mork, the eccentric alien from Mork, to life with his improvisational skills and boundless energy. The character's space helmet was a modified version of a combat helmet from the Outer Limits. Another interesting character was Exidor, who had a connection to this island Earth. These elements added depth to the show's universe, creating a quirky and entertaining series loved by many. It's fascinating how these small details contributed to the show's charm and enduring legacy. Robin Williams, who brought life to the iconic character Mork, initially appeared in Happy Days in an episode where he portrayed a less friendly and more villainous version of the character. This portrayal hinted at Mork being part of a dream Richie Cunningham was having. Interestingly, this early depiction contrasts starkly with the more amiable and quirky alien viewers came to know in the show's subsequent spin-off. During the production of the show, Williams was romantically involved with comedian Elaine Boosler, adding an off-screen layer of interest to the series. Their relationship provided insight into Williams' life during the creation of the beloved TV show. Mork and Mindy drew inspiration from Gore Vidal's play and Jerry Lewis' film, Visit to a Small Planet, featuring a zany alien with extraordinary abilities navigating interactions with humans, including his connection with a young woman from Earth and his reporting back to an alien supervisor. This resemblance lays the groundwork for the show's premise, reflecting a common theme in science fiction and comedy. These background details, from Williams' early portrayal to his personal life, and the show's inspirations offer a richer context to the beloved series, showcasing the complexities behind the scenes and the influences shaping its creation. Robin Williams, known for his brilliant improvisations, shaped much of the show's comedic genius. His on-the-spot gags, often improvised, became iconic moments on screen. What started as mere improvisation soon became scripted as Robin goes off here, showcasing the trust in his comedic instincts. Even Pam Dauber sometimes struggled to hold back her laughter, a testament to William's spontaneous wit. Interestingly, Dauber's role as Mindy wasn't something she personally auditioned for. Producer Gary Marshall cleverly pitched the show by merging clips of Dauber's previous performance from a failed series with Robin Williams' earlier guest appearance as Mork on Happy Days. Dauber's surprise at learning she landed the role adds a unique twist to the show's behind-the-scenes narrative. As for Williams, his fame on set didn't shield him from struggles. His cocaine use began as a means to navigate awkward moments between takes, spiraling into an addiction that haunted him for years. This glimpse into the challenges faced by the show's star hints at the complexities behind the scenes, contrasting sharply with the laughter he effortlessly brought to the screen. The series' success was also owed to its incorporation of Jonathan Winters, joining Williams in spontaneous brilliance. Their combined improvisational talent became a defining feature, shaping the show's dynamic humor. The organic humor born from these unscripted moments undoubtedly contributed to the show's enduring appeal, carving a distinct place in television history. 
Happy Days Al Molinero connected to Robin Williams through an acting class, sparked a change in television history. When casting for the character, Mork encountered a snag. Molinero suggested Williams to producer Gary Marshall. This pivotal introduction set the stage for a show that evolved beyond its initial premise. Fred and Cora, integral in the series' early days, were dropped in the second season due to concerns about their alignment with the show's younger audience. Their absence prompted viewer dissatisfaction, leading to their eventual return, though Cora's appearances remained sporadic. In a bid for ratings, the final episode's latter half was filmed in 3D. However, as the series faced cancellation, the network opted for a 2D airing, concluding the show differently. These behind-the-scenes decisions, while varied in impact, underscore the intricate path of a beloved series' evolution. The 1978 TV series, Mork and Mindy, had a fascinating beginning. The iconic Nanu Nanu hand gesture used by Mork in greetings drew inspiration from Mr. Spock's live long and prosper salute in Star Trek, a show Robin Williams admired. Additionally, Mork's orc in space suit had a previous life as a costume in Star Trek, The Savage Curtain. Said in the present day, Mork and Mindy was one of three spin-offs originating from Happy Days. However, unlike the other two, Blansky's beauties, and out of the blue, this series gained immediate traction. In its debut season, it ranked third overall in ratings. Yet, a pivotal change occurred in the second season. ABC shifted its airing slot to Sundays, attempting to counter CBS's Sunday comedy lineup, particularly Archie Bunker's place. This move backfired, leading to a substantial decline in viewership. Even after reverting to the original Thursday night slot midway through the season, the ratings never fully recovered. This roller coaster of ratings and its inspiration from iconic shows like Star Trek set the stage for Mork and Mindy's journey, blending sci-fi inspiration with contemporary sitcom elements. The character Orson, Mork's Orkin superior, paid homage to Orson Welles, famed for the 1938 CBS radio broadcast of War of the Worlds. This nod stemmed from Wellness' adaptation of H.G. Wells' work, portraying Martian's landing in New Jersey. The choice of Orson as a name reflected this iconic broadcast's influence on the show's creators. It linked the fictional Orkin world to a historical moment in radio, enriching the series with a subtle but meaningful connection to classic science fiction. The inspiration drawn from Wellness' portrayal of the Martian invasion underscored the creative depth behind the scenes of the show, aligning it with a significant moment in entertainment history. As we draw the curtains on this conversation, I'm struck by the timeless wonder that a show like that 1978 Jim brought into the lives it touched. The whimsy, the oddity, the sheer unadulterated joy that it conjured is etched in memories, just waiting to be reminisced upon. Maybe it's the way Mork's unorthodox wisdom connected or Mindy's steadfast humanity resonated. Perhaps it's those zany adventures through the lens of comedy that struck a chord, reminding us that laughter is, indeed, a universal language. What stands vivid is the collective nostalgia, the camaraderie it sparked among viewers. So, what's your piece of the puzzle? What's that cherished memory or insightful takeaway from the Mork and Mindy saga that still flickers brightly in your mind? Share it, let it breathe life into the conversation. Your perspective, your anecdotes, they are the colorful threads that weave the rich tapestry of appreciation for this classic series. Thank you for indulging in this trip down memory lane. Your unique perspective adds depth to the collective experience, painting a more vibrant picture of the impact this show had. Until we rendezvous next in the corridors of reminiscence, stay inspired, keep sharing and continue cherishing those moments that make life beautifully nostalgic. With gratitude for your time and thoughts, 